I'm Gabrielle from Intuition and in this video I'll be telling you about the KAIST undergraduate scholarship admission for the 2024 September intake. Maybe some of you are already familiar with KAIST, some of you not, so I'll be filling you in I'll be giving you a little bit of information so then you can get a little bit of understanding of what KAIST is like. KAIST is located in Daejeon. It's actually one of the top universities in South Korea. It's very hard to get into, it's very hard to be admitted. Right now in Korea, if you wear the jacket of KAIST, people are very, very impressed by that because it's very hard to get into KAIST. And KAIST is like up there. It's like South Korea's MIT. Now they have five established colleges, natural sciences, life science and bioengineering, engineering, liberal arts and convergence science, and business. Now there are 11,000 students studying on campus actively and from those 11,000, almost 1,000 of them are international students. Why should you apply to KAIST? Why should you study at KAIST? One, because as mentioned before, KAIST is the, the MIT of South Korea. So getting a degree from this university not only will make you one of the most wanted graduates, but the alumni network and the connections that you can build throughout your years of study in the school would put you in a very beneficial position because you would be meeting the top academia personnel from the fields of science and technology. The education quality is proven number one and one of the great things about KAIST is that their courses are all conducted in English because you'll be learning with like so many different international students from so many different countries. You won't have problems to blend in just because of the language barrier and what makes it better is English proficiency certificate are not mandatory. It's completely optional, but it's very recommended that you have at least like IELTS 6.5 or equivalent. Now, what is this scholarship program? So basically, you'll be applying for admission, a regular admission. But if you get selected, you will get full tuition scholarship. All international students who are admitted will be eligible for this scholarship. So you can imagine how competitive this program will be because Kai is being one of the top universities in Asia probably, or in not if, if not in the world. By the way, it's rank 83 in the world rankings. So they get tens if not hundreds of thousands of applications each year. If the admitted international students will get full tuition fees, that means only those who they think are worth the full scholarship will be admitted. And now what courses or majors are available for this scholarship program? Because they are an institute of science and technology, obviously most of the available courses would be from the engineering college. As I mentioned earlier, they have five different colleges. And for this undergraduate scholarship program, there are around 20 courses that you can choose from. Computer science, physics, mathematical science, biological sciences, electronic engineering, material science, business and technology management, industrial design. They have a lot of different courses and you can see the complete list from our application form, the Google form link that you probably already have in your hand or I will put in the description box below and you can also check it out on our website. Now, what are covered by the scholarship? It's very lucrative. First, you get the full tuition fee exemption for up to eight semesters, four years. Um, you get monthly stipend of 350,000 won per month. That's also for four years. And in Korea, because you have to have the national insurance, the school will also cover for your health insurance throughout your study program. So in Korea, because scholarships are re-evaluated at the end of every semester, you need to be able to maintain a good GPA to still keep the full tuition fee scholarship until the end of your program. This means because KAIST used the 4.3 GPA system, you need to be able to maintain at least a minimum of 2.7 GPA out of 4.3. Let's say you finish your first semester, first semester done, you get 2.8 GPA. That means for the second semester, you will get the full tuition fee. And then at the end of the second semester, they will reevaluate your academic performance again to see whether you can still get the full tuition scholarship for the third semester. And it goes that way until your seventh semester. So what are not covered by the scholarship? Airfare tickets, um, visa application fee, any document preparations that you need in order to apply for the visa or for admission, health checkup for the visa, dormitory for during your study is not included, personal expenses are not included, and definitely intuition handling fee is not included. 
Okay, now how do you apply for the admissions slash scholarship program here with Intuition? What's the process? We have our basic plan here, which is 335 US dollars. It's very cheap, very student friendly, very packed with values. All you need is included in this plan. What we will give you through this plan is actually very complete. We will send you the required documents list based on KAIST 2024 September requirements. And then we will review them with you to see what documents need to be maybe copied, authenticated at some places, some institutions, what needs to be printed now, what needs to be included, what's still missing. And we'll make sure that your documents is very complete and up to KAIST requirement standards. And not only that, we'll also review your essays, so personal statements, self-introduction, study plan. We'll proofread them, we'll edit them, we'll give you feedbacks, we'll tell you how to make it stand out more to give the essays more depth and characters to make sure that your essays are special and unique and it's not just like any other essays. We'll also give you deadline reminders for the 2024 September undergraduate intake at KAIST. The deadline is actually January 12th, 2024 and this is the date where your hard copies needs to arrive at the admission office. Let's think of the deadline as one week before then because like usually postage can take seven days and it's just better if you send in as early as possible. And also for like online application fees, um, for KAIST it's $80, it's non-refundable, you have to pay it to the university and all applicants need to submit this payment and because we'll be doing the online application for you, we'd be making the payment for you as well. It's already included in the basic plan fee of $335. And the last thing that I think is very important is that because we work very closely with you, so you'll be involved at every step of the application process, there wouldn't be times where you'd be like, hey, what's going on with my application? Give me some updates, what's going on now? I have no idea what's going on with my application. Like there won't be times like that at all. And that way, everything will still be your sweat and tears. <laughs> I hope that won't be sweat, that won't be tears, but you know, you have to give your all to make sure that your chances are as best as it could be to get admitted to KAIST and we'll be there to help you, mentor you, guide you at every single step. So that's all the information I would like to share with you today. Hopefully that was clear and that was helpful and it gives you more idea on what we do, who we are as an agency and how we can help you to apply for Kai scholarship admission. And if there's any questions or other concerns that you have that I didn't cover in this video, please feel free to reach out anytime. I'm always online. Well, I mean, sometimes I sleep and eat, but I will always try to get back to you as fast as I can. You can reach me through our email, through our Instagram, or through our WhatsApp. Sign up as soon as possible because deadline's coming soon. Speak to your parents. If your parents have any questions or would like to meet me and speak personally to me, um, you know, I'd be happy to answer all of their questions. So let me know if they prefer like a video chat or just like if they have a couple more questions, I would try to best uh, answer them as fast as I can. So good luck and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.